Title making his way to the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. The Fresh Prince, Philip Rowe. the USFFC lightweight title. Introducing first the fighter on the right, fighting out of the blue corner. He fights at a Flagler Beach, Florida for Flagler Bushido Club. Comes in with a record of six wins, only four defeats. Swap Fox, give it up for the Fresh Prince Philip Rowe. And his opponent standing across the cage. Fighting out of the right corner, he fights out of Marshall, North Carolina, and full circle martial arts. His record, 10 wins, only 5 defeats. Give it up for Tony the Snake Rogers! Referee Blake Rice. Two of the uh, taller uh, 155ers stepping in here. I'm joined with uh, Keith, the rock star Richard. Some people may know him. He's something of a, a celebrity here. An old school friend from the broadcasting days. People like me. <laughs> uh, this is a fight that I've really been looking forward to. Two very tall, uh, very skilled fighters uh, in the cage. You know, and, and both guys usually make uh, very good use of their reach. Uh, I love watching Tony Rogers' head movement, uh, his footwork. He always fights with his hands down like this. Yeah, he can yeah. land punches and not get hit. It's insane. 
Yeah, uh, this this fight's gonna be a little different for him just because he doesn't have the reach uh, in this fight. You know, that might come come back to haunt him, uh, keeping his hands down like that. Yeah, Phillips Rowe has a lot of power, so we saw him put away uh, Dustin Messer at 170 pounds uh, in a very impressive knockout win. Looks like he's zoning in on <laughs> Tony's head here. Philip looks a little tentative about getting countered here. Yeah, he's waiting in uh, cautiously, looking to uh, land that big strike, but not uh, not take a big strike himself. You know what I have seen though from Tony in the past is uh, his uh, his style of fighting is uh, it kind of it wears on your cardio. I've seen his cardio fail him uh, in a fight or two before, and I gotta wonder if uh, going down to 155 again. Uh, could also be an issue. All right, we're going to take a quick second for a groin shot, man. They're back to action. You know, that's the problem with these uh, Valley Tudo shorts. You can clearly see the target if you're uh, trying for that low blow. Kind of just puts a big bullseye on it. Yeah, you can't even really, uh, as some fighters like to do, fake. Uh, Take the grind shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling uh, these fighters might wind up in the clinch at some point. You know, with uh, with both of them having such long reaches, they're eventually going to run out of real estate. <laughs> Some nice knees in here from uh, Tony, but he looks more like he's just trying to to weigh in on Philip, maybe take some of his cardio away. As Tony's expended a lot more energy in this fight thus far than uh, Philip. Over your shoulder, right here. All right, they separate. That's a sweet hairdo, right? I, I love the Fresh Prince. You should totally rock that for your next fight. Uh, I wasn't born in West Philadelphia. <laughs> I did spend a lot of days on the playground, though. Seen a nice kicking exchange thus far. Uh, yeah. Some real nice kicks by Tony. Uh. You know, Phillip's gonna have to stop being uh, uh, tentative uh, about Tony's head movement and just throw throw up top. Let Tony try to move out of the way and leg kick just like that. Because you you know you're you're putting all your weight on both legs when you're doing all this head movement. Your legs have a lot of weight on. You can take away some footwork later in the game. Yeah, the, uh, I, I think the longer this fight goes, the more he'll get down uh, Tony's style and you know, he'll get a little more comfortable. I, I think with just the awkwardness of Tony's style, it, it, it's kind of messing with his psyche uh, in the first round, but definitely, oh, oh, the right hand. That one definitely stunned Tony. Oh, he caught his, uh, he caught his head movement pattern just perfect and landed a big right. Mm. That's that's one thing about Tony. He gets uh he gets very emotional in the cage, um, and he's uh kind of yelling at the uh, ref here. He has yeah. a nice cut going under his uh, right eye right now. Yeah, that was definitely due to that uh, hard right hand that Philip landed perfectly timed. I, I was waiting on that. You know, put together combos on guys with head movement because they tend to to wave one direction, and if you put together two or three, they can't dodge all those. Yeah, um, Philip's a smart fighter. He's a very uh, very experienced fighter, you know, I think he's thrown a couple of things a couple of times just to, just to see if he did the same thing each time, and then he uh, timed it perfectly. Oh, they're both mad now, swinging for the fences as both men. Oh. Uh, oh, they're talking to each other, they are mad right now. This is a very intense, heated fight. Oh, head game. I love oh, this is going to be exciting one. I told you this was one uh, that I've definitely been waiting for. And uh, that first round did not disappoint. Yeah. They felt each other out in the beginning, as I expected they would, but uh, now, it, now it looks like it's go time. Championship fight here, Slump Fox. Next fight, August 24th. You know what to expect. They throw down here in the Fox. Then the USFFC 14 shop. Top hat up for tickets. Business sponsorships. Much love out there to Clean Laser Clinic. Open it up our headline sponsor here tonight for USMFC 13.
13. All right. I, I got to think that, uh, the you know, you're a sports coach. Long box, get behind these spiders. The louder you cheer, the harder they fight. Let's go. Anyway, I'm thinking if you are a Phillips coach, what are you telling him to do coming out in this next round? Um, I'm probably telling him to keep working his kicks and uh, just, just just wait in and start start throwing. Uh, yeah, throw it a little confidence, keep his hands up. Yeah, that, that's what Tony's going to try to do, draw you, try to get you reaching and land that big shot. It's worked for him often throughout his career. Now, do you think that he should target the cut on Tony's fight? I mean, that, that, that happened in the first round, and we have five rounds, four minutes. That's a lot of a damage accumulation on that eye. That could end the um, fight. Yeah, it, it can help with the judges scoring. It's, it's on the bottom of the eye if it was on the top. You know, I'd, I'd really look to work it. But uh, with it being on the bottom, you know, he's not going to get blood in his eye. Yeah, the, uh, and it, it's low enough to where the swelling won't affect him too bad. But, yeah, once I see blood, I always want to always want to see more, though. So <laughs> I, if, if I'm if I'm Phillip, I'm throwing at his eye. Mortal Kombat. If, I, if I'm his life. coach, yeah, it, it's not a priority in my book. <laughs> Tony's taking some deeper breaths here. You know that style of his with the the, the constant head movement stuff. Uh, it does does weight on your cardio quite a bit. Yeah. Plus, you know, he's got to move his hands up before he throws them, so it takes an extra second to see. And you know, he's, he's just any extra movement's going to take away on his cardio. Indeed. So he's trying to work. Oh, trying to work it in here. Oh, it looks like we got a reverse a reverse guillotine. I can't see if it's a, looks like an anaconda. Yeah. It's nothing now. Yeah. Tony fights that off pretty well. <clears throat> God, these guys' legs are going to hurt so bad tomorrow. Yeah, you can really see some marks on Phil Rose's uh, legs right now. Right on the uh, outside of that left thigh. This is a title fight, so uh, they will have an effect in the later rounds. Definitely. I mean, we've, we've got that kind of damage already built up in the second round here. We've got a while to go with this fight. <clears throat> you know, I'm thinking with all these kicks being landed, follow it with a punch or set it up with a punch. Uh, you know, whenever these guys are throwing their kicks, their hands are getting low. Uh, if you could time one of those, you could check in and then follow with a punch. Oh! oh catches him. Right throws him down. Uh oh. It looks like he's, he's, he's got a great view here. Back, back, back control. He's throwing some good shots. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's, he's got, got it. He's got, he's got, got it under the chin. Yes, yes he, he does. does. Shin and the body oh, trying to hit it. It's over. It's a seal deal for Philip Rose. Nice. We have a new 155 champion here. That is an impressive finish right there. Adam and we get the dance too. Very nice. With a name like the first pitch, you've got to give us a dance. <laughs> It's required. I would find the guy that booed me if I was him and, and definitely go get him the finger. That's class right there. A lot of heated moments in the fight. Yeah, you know, it was a heated fight, but both the guys were, you know, class acts and uh, great competitors. They'll both be back in there. I gotta think there's some uh, pro aspirations between these guys. Both of them have like 10 fights. Uh, both of them have uh, more wins than losses. You gotta think about going pro at a certain point. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a, a good fight to set up a full career on right there for uh, Phillips. Ladies and gentlemen, wait by South Society 2.5, round number two. You want to buy a tap out, fight for your name and show, Phil Phillips Prince Hey, 
you gotta, you gotta call something fresh, fresh. Oh, we can't get an answer? I mean, come on, dude. I mean, damn. How am I gonna put you on the TV show if you, you cold shoulder me and walk into the arena? All right, hey guys, here he is. Bill Bro, the fresh, fresh. Let's make some noise. How about that victory, guys? All right, a lot of people are probably wondering, you couldn't get the belt. Didn't quite make way. That has to be frustrating because you had a hell of a performance out there. Yeah, I mean, I cut a lot of pounds in a short period of time. I don't need a belt, man. I come out here to show a good time and give people their money's worth. Talk about this win, man. Tony Rogers, this guy, he keeps those hands down. I mean, does that, do you feel like you're just kind of getting baited in there? Did you want that knockout real bad? I mean, he hit those hands down. There's no love lost between you two, I can tell. Talk about that. All right. Yeah, it's simple. Somebody puts their hands down, you punch them in the face, man. It's real simple. So, I mean, I just, my coach, Reese Hall, we had a game plan. We stuck to it. I got a nice necklace now. How do you like coming up here to the Swamp Fox, all the way from Florida, to fight for all these rowdy North Carolina fans? How do you like that? I love the man. Scott Price is a good guy. He looks out, takes care of us every time, makes us want to come out here. I'm not a country guy, but they show love in the area. I like it. Are we going to get one more? Now, I know you're getting close to turn a pro. Are we going to get one more fight out of you here at the Swamp Fox? Is it possible? Uh, I, I mean, possibly. What do you guys think, Swamp Fox? You think I mean, you guys want to see the Fresh Prince again, right? Whatever Scott offers, my coach, man, is just, I fight anybody. It's whatever, man. I'm just here to fight. Any, anybody you want to thank? DJ Desi, Jeff, any of those guys? Uh, nah, man, my coach, Reese Hall, his son, Dave Hall, he's a 15 year old kid, man, but. He's my biggest training partner, incredible jiu-jitsu, and they helped me get ready. So, thank my team. Well, it's only right with it being the summertime that the Fresh Prince would get the win tonight. Make some noise out there, guys, for Phil Fresh. <laughs> Phil, come on back. Phil, come on back. I forgot. Phil, we got one more thing for you, brother. One more thing. One more thing. Come on back. Your finish has been deemed by Scott Price is the finish of the night. You got a tomahawk. <laughs> and what can I say? Watch out, man. Fresh Prince has a tomahawk.